it's me Terry and welcome to my channel terrifically thrifted today I just got home from work I did a 12-hour shift and I am so inspired to create tonight it's Friday night and I am just trying to get my life together really quickly and I'm really excited to go and do a project. So one of the reasons why I really want to get going and start my project today is because I'm just so inspired. Um, I've been for like two years I love just watching furniture refurbishing furniture painting videos and I always just thought like I don't have the time for it um, but you know what today we're gonna make the time because I've always wanted to try it and we're gonna try it and so we'll see how it goes. So let's go see what I want to refurbish. Let's go! Do, do, do. Okay. So we are in the master bedroom and don't mind the mess. <laughs> and also me not making my bed and also the mattress just being a bit crazy. But we're in the master bedroom and I want to try to give this guy a little glow up. Um, so this is our dresser we bought um, two years ago secondhand off Facebook Marketplace um, and as you can see <laughs> the handle has fallen off um, it's it's in not bad condition like all most of the drawers work pretty well and there's just a few scuffs at the top um, the only drawer that is a little bit broken is this bottom one, um, like the slidey plastic that is broken, so I just need to go to Lowe's and find the right piece. I've been wanting so bad to redo this, um, and refurbish this for a long time and make it kind of more my style, and so I think we're going to do that today, and let's just hope that I don't run out of daylight. So, first challenge of the day is just to get this drawer outside so I can start sanding and not make mess. But I am by myself right now, and my dog is no help to me. Um, but I can't lift it up on my own. But you know what? If I'm not strong enough, I'm creative enough. So I put some towels underneath to slide it so that my floors do not get scratched. Let's hope this works. Update. We have moved it to the door, but can it fit? And can I get it over the lip? We shall see. Okay, well, the struggle was real, but I managed to get this outside by myself, so I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> what I'm thinking is sanding it down and painting the body of it white, and then I'll see what the um, the drawer, what I want to do with the drawers. So let's try that, I guess. Here we go. So to start, I take my 60 grit sandpaper and just scuff sand all around the dresser and I scuff sand it just so that the paint has something to adhere to, um, has a rough surface to adhere to. Um, so I just kind of do that everywhere with my sanding block thingy. And of course, health and safety first, I always recommend wearing a face mask um, just to prevent from inhaling, you know, the wood particles. <music> completed sanding, I took my, a microfiber cloth and just wiped down the whole piece so that I can take off any of the dust. Um, we wouldn't want any of that to be under the paint as we want a smooth finish. So to paint this dresser, I'm using chalk paint by uh, Rust-Oleum called Linen White. And I just take my um, brush and kind of make long broad strokes while I paint them on for my first coat. The great thing about chalk paint is that it adheres pretty well and has a really good coverage. I'm still pretty new to painting furniture and so I wanted to also test out to see how a roller, um, foam roller would do with 
creating um, a smooth texture. So on the sides, I used the foam roller and on the top, I used the paintbrush. And then I took my paintbrush and uh, painted the front bars of the dresser. In hindsight, I probably should have used painter tape and line it up on the inside of the jars to make a clean, crisp line. Um, but I'll know better for next time at least. <laughs> And so here I am painting the sides of my dresser with a paintbrush. In hindsight, I probably should have used a finer decaled brush, um, which I do have at home for my watercoloring. Um, so at least I would know for next time to do that. But I think for the first coat, this was fun just to get paint onto the dresser. So I've done one coat of paint of white and looks okay. I guess I'll just wait for it to, to dry. Just trust the process, I guess. Oh boy, <laughs> what did I do? Good morning, friends. So um, I let the dryer, dryer, the dresser dry um, overnight. Um, and because I'm by myself and I do not have a garage, I just left it outside, which <laughs> was, there was an oversight there. Um, I didn't think about the moisture and um, there is dew on the top of the dresser. Um, so that paint hasn't dried and I'm hoping it's still going to be salvageable. Um, but the sides of the dresser are dry. Not sure how it's going to turn out but you know, going into this I knew I was going to make mistakes and we're going to learn. So there you go. Hi, Russ. Russ wants to help me paint. So, I don't know if you can tell on here. There's some moisture on the top. Um, but, and so the paint is still kind of wet. As you can see, it comes off a little bit. Okay, that's just my dog. Um, but it's pretty sunny out today, so as you can tell, um, so I'm hoping that just kind of dries at the top off. And you know, we'll, we'll learn for next time. But this side's like completely dry, all the sides and stuff. So Mother Nature did its thing, and this is all dry now. So we're going to sand it down. As you can see on the top, the first coat I put on, I must have missed a few places. I think I was pretty tired after work last night. Um, but I think after the second coat, I'll be able to cover most of it up. So now I'm just going over the dresser with a second coat of white. So while I let the second coat dry, I'm going to work on the drawers. With my screwdriver, I'm just going to take off all of the drawer handles and put them aside. And so I'm just wiping them down and washing them with a solution. And then I am scuff sanding them like I did with the main part of the dresser because I'm going to start painting them.
So once the second coat was dry, I sanded it and smoothed it out with uh, 100 grit sandpaper and then wiped all the dust off with my microfiber cloth. Then I went in with a finer brush to get into the corners and all the little details of the dresser. So this is what it looked like after the last coat of paint. In some places it's still a little bit blotchy, um, but I think overall it will do as this was kind of my first furniture flip piece and I am just experimenting. And then I smoothed out the coat with some sandpaper. Quick tip, you know how you have to stir um, paint or top coats before you use it? Instead of buying like those wooden stick things at the Home Depot or, or whatever you buy paint. Instead of buying paints, um, paint stirrers, I just keep old bubble tea straws or like Chinese takeout chopsticks and just use it to stir because I don't want to pay for a stir stick that I'm going to throw out anyways. Plus it gives these items just an extra use before you got to dispose of them. <laughs> a little bit more eco-friendly. So here I apply on the top coat by Rust-Oleum and it just gives the furniture a little bit more durability so that the paint won't chip as easily. Hey friends, so I just finished my work day. I was out in the field um, hand augering some boreholes and sampling some soil um, for eight, to eight, nine hours today. So I'm feeling pretty tired but I just power crushed some cookies and drank some water. So I'm feeling a little bit more motivated now that I've had some cookies. And I'm gonna continue and try to finish up this project for today. So what's left is the handles. Um, originally, I wanted to spray paint these gold and give them a little bit more shine to them. Um, but the hardware store is closed and I put an order in and it still hasn't come in and I kinda just wanna finish the project. So instead, I am going to I'm going to try to give it um, some shine by using some brasso and try to polish it. So I just took a microfiber cloth and put some brasso on it and used it to apply to the brass parts of the handles. And then with a separate microfiber cloth, I used it to rub and polish it down. So as you can see, the one on the left is polished and the one on the right isn't polished. And in the light, you can see a little bit of a difference after using the brasso. I, I'm not disappointed in how it turned out. Actually, I'm very pleased for my very first, for it being my very first furniture flip. Um, it didn't go completely according to plan, but you just gotta roll with the punches. And so without further ado, here is the final look. One of my favorite parts of this project is how the handles turned out. Even though it's really simple, I just kind of like the contrast with the white on the natural wood color and the shined up brasso brass handles part. And this is what it looked like before, in case you forgot. Hey guys, um, I just want to say thank you for watching my YouTube video. I hope you really enjoyed um, seeing the transformation of my old thrifted dresser to this new, more modern look. It turned out decently well. I know I made mistakes along the way, um, but it's really important that we give ourselves permission to make mistakes and to learn something new. I, I really hope that you enjoy these videos. I really want to show how secondhand items can still be beautiful. Maybe I'll do some more videos like this. Let me know um, if you have any tips or advice on things that um, you saw that I could um, improve as well as
any tips just to make it a little bit easier so thank you again for watching if you like this video and you if you like more content about furniture flipping just let me know down below in the comments and I would love it if you would like share subscribe on my videos it really means a lot to me all right I'll see you next Friday bye this is why I can't have live sound and I have to do voiceovers because he's always whining like he literally does that all the time when I'm not giving him attention this is why I have to do voiceovers <sighs> potato rut, rut, rust. No. Rust, uh, Can't do anything with you.